Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to the episode of the Gaming Podcast, episode 53, season two, whatever you want to call it. What a great way to start off because you know, PlayStation presented us with a lovely gift today. Uh, Camille, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Uh, I am, for the first time in our podcast history, using my Elgato teleprompter um, as supposed to do with things like this. Uh, if that makes sense. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm so like, whoa, this is so cool. You guys Again, are in there. What's going on? There. We're in there. This is cool. Yeah, I, I'm really enjoying my Elgato teleprompter. I was kind of in, on the fence on it. But I think it, it's because I wasn't using it to its full potential. Mm. And now I am. And it's like so good that I don't have to look down here for you guys. And I could be like, ah. I Incredible. Yes. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. That. Look at us. I'm a very simple person. <laughs> I'm a very simple person. Doesn't take much to impress me. Fair enough. That's yeah. awesome. Caboose, how are you doing, man? Doing good, doing good. You know, actually, I've been getting really into uh, Space Marine. I don't know if anybody oh, okay. here has been playing, but that that <laughs> game, you know, it like good, the the thing is, is like I'm I'm a simple man. You know what I mean when it comes to to, to video games. That's nice. When, I, when it comes to video games, I don't need the like. I'm not gonna say I have anything against these 80 to 100 hour experiences, but I really don't need them. You know what I mean? It's not like every AAA game that comes out, it better be that long. Yeah. Space Marine 2 for me totally reminds me of the days of like playing on your Xbox 360, run into a GameStop or Best Buy, seeing this cool game cover on the shelf and being like, I want to get that. And then it ends up being like the most fun you've ever had. You know what I mean? It, it, it's mm -hmm. got all those elements in there that totally remind me of those like super fun, just out of nowhere 360 genre or 360 era games. And yeah, I, I've been really having fun with that. Oh, yeah. See, the problem with me with, I guess, the whole Warhammer series, I, like, so I was confused. I'm like, well, is this like the board game version? Is it this? Like, <laughs> like what's I'm one not into getting? the lore at all. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to try and play through the story. <laughs> I got somebody who loves Warhammer through and through who's trying to, like, give me the, the, the cliff notes. But, like, mm -hmm. for me, it's just gameplay is just so much fun. Like, it's got a PvP mode. It's got a PvE mode. It's got a story mode. Tons of content on the way. It's a really solid, like, full package game with so much more to come. And it's mm -hmm. kind of rare to see these days. Awesome. Yeah, no, it looks really good. Especially, I saw someone, they were, like, restarting from the first Space Marina. And, like, even that one looked graphically amazing as yeah, well. Yeah, so. I saw some people yeah. playing that, and I was like, damn, that looks pretty good, too. Yeah, 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 I feel like it would be something, like, more people would enjoy. But sometimes when, like, games come with like this huge history and lore it's just it like really hard yeah to like just onboard as like completely new but um i really do like the people that paint all the figures and stuff like that props to them because the yes. level of like the level of patience, patience for that yeah <laughs> yeah like i have a gundam that i've been meaning to put together for like <laughs> five years that i've it's had just daunting. and it's just like and i'm re-watching gundam see destiny right now and like every time i look to this box and i'm just like i really need to put my gundam rose together like oh, real yeah you know Patience. one step at a time you just you just got the prompter done soon <laughs> anytime now yeah, yeah exactly exactly <laughs> it's gonna one, be the gun one thing one thing yeah, at a time exactly. one, one thing at a time one yeah thing at yeah a time. uh well today i guess the meat and potatoes is is uh the big reveal um, sadly, PlayStation didn't really hide this very well because, you know, they had a whole, uh, premiere video. I don't think anybody knew there was going to be a new PlayStation announcement so. of some no kind. It was in a description yeah. in their YouTube video. Right? Come on. Yeah. There's no <laughs> way. There's no way. But I mean, the teases in art yeah. that, that they put cool. out. And I feel bad that someone leaked out. They're like, oh, yeah, there's a sketch here. And then I feel like it was gonna be like a little hidden Easter egg that will pop. Nah, pop. They, I, they put it out knowing that somebody was gonna was gonna find that like, that know, console like, hidden. Was in was a before yeah. that, I mean, that's what. It, I mean. Oh, I yeah, see. Yeah, some, the, yeah, the, the Astro one. Oh, right, no, no, right, right. I'm the Astro one. There's one before, before that. 
I see. Oh, what you're about. oh, yeah, oh yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Some guy like I can't show you, but I can sketch it, and he sketch it. And we're like, what to, the hell? This to be fair, true? too, though, like the the design of the PS5 Pro is not something where it's like, oh my god, you know what yeah. I mean? It's, like, it's yeah. the slim, but then they put two more lines. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. like, three, three lines. Get it right. They're right. going for these oh, you know, three yeah. lines. You know, for the big three that they were showing off during, you know, for ray tracing and. What was it they said? It was, well, I can't remember the whole the whole speech. The of PSSR, it. lots of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Ray tracing and AI driven upscaling. Um, it's <laughs> okay. Well, let's let's say, let's talk about the good parts here. Yeah, i seven, two gigabytes, uh, solid state drive, really really good. Oh look who's here as well. What up, bro? Oh. <laughs> hey, Steve. <What> <laughs> I didn't think you were gonna be here. No, no I'm, uh, I'm currently in a, uh, a, a, a sort of in a meeting, but I'm like, uh, uh, like uh, I'm on lunch right now. So basically, <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm, I'm <laughs> let's go. <laughs> so I'm, right. I'm like, you know what? I don't need lunch right now. I'm just going to jump in and talk with y'all. <laughs> that is so funny. I love That's... that you ditched your your meeting. We're just going to say you ditched your meeting, although you really sure. didn't. You're on lunch um, <laughs> for us. That makes us feel so special. Just make sure you're muted on that side. They'll be like, why does he keep talking? Oh, I don't know. Why is he talking about the PS5? Yeah, PS5. Like nonstop. You, 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 jo- you joke, but li- like literally, that's actually kind of what just happened for the first 30 seconds. So they definitely heard me say, What's up, bitches? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> but oh there's no god. call right now, other than just like one other person. So uh, okay, well <laughs> there you go. Uh, we were just talking about the PS. He uh, really so- loves lunch, you know. Yeah, he really <laughs> loves lunch. <laughs> <laughs> he he feels his sandwich. What up, bitches? <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating you. <laughs> what? You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just you know I'll eat, I'll eat that a little bit. But uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, what's up? What are y'all talking about? So we just started. We're talking about the good parts of the PS5. I haven't said the you know the part that everyone's talking that everyone's. Uh, know out, outraging about um mm-hmm. with the upgraded gpu <laughs> ray tracing and ai driven upscaling um i would have liked like you know if they showed off some more or like at least have like a up res maybe they'll do it later i have like a 4k version of just showing off this is the difference between two it was kind of hard you know you uh, youtube premiere video things that compress people are yeah. gonna be like i don't see anything what's going on mm-hmm. here uh, yeah. but <laughs> you know what though there was a lot of people who were bringing up these comparisons and posting them online i feel like in bad faith i saw yeah. one person who was posting a, a literal screenshot that was meant to compare the frame rate and saying i don't see the difference in these two screenshots and it's like well one it's of them just, it's, it's, yeah literally it's <laughs> one frame rate is moving <laughs> it, first of all yeah <laughs> this is a video you're supposed to be watching but second of all yeah. the comparison for a lot of these were uh, to my understanding at least from what i was seeing from what i was understanding is essentially your fidelity mode as you know it yeah. on mm-hmm. your ps5 becomes now the performance mode or just yes. i guess yeah. the regular way um, regular yeah, way yeah, you can yeah. run yeah. on, the on a ps5 yeah. pro that's one of, for sure, the most impressive aspects about it. So mm-hmm. do you want the improved ray tracing, the great like graphical fidelity and the beautiful visual quality of something like Spider-Man 2, but you also want it at 60? That's what something like the PS5 Pro allows you to do. I do agree that where they kind of slipped up was providing these comparisons of, uh, hey, now you can see... This Personal one guy yeah. 400 meters away that you never would have been looking at in the first place. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, I feel like that that's like not super interesting to the, the general consumer. I think more so for me, the, the whole frame rate thing is is a lot more appealing. Mm-hmm. We'll get to the price in a little bit. Um, but yeah. overall, I feel like this presentation and the showcase of the PlayStation 5 Pro and just in general, the technology is the first sign if if there weren't already several out there that we're kind of plateauing right now in terms of how far they're going to be able to push these consoles you know like when we get to a ps6 don't expect it to be as big of a leap as it was from the four to five Mm -hmm. and that's not to say what that's not to say hold on hold on that's not to say that there aren't there isn't tech out there that is insanely advanced you know that's not to say that mm-hmm. there aren't things like a 4090 out there yeah but we're talking about these products for consumers that they want to price fairly reasonably yeah. um so they're never going to pack a 4090 into any of these things you know no. if we're yeah. talking for the way that they want to price it for the way that they want to make it accessible to consumers right now 
we're starting to reach a bit of a ceiling of how far they can push this technology. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I would agree because and I think even talking about the Fidelity stuff before, um, for me personally, because of my disability and, my, and with my vision, I have never really enjoyed like Fidelity mode uh, as much as ever, like, or at least be able to see the the extra bit of quality that it can provide. Uh, yeah. I've always been a performance uh, mode uh, player because the more the higher the frame rate the better the the, the better i'm actually able to see cuz uh, there's a lot right, more yeah. frames in me, like and if it's if i'm having to be able to play something at 30 frames per second well it's not bad it's not to say like it's it's a it's a be- like like playing a game at that frame rate is is a bad thing but it you do, when you do jump from 30 to 60 you do notice that fidelity a little bit more uh, because of just there's more frames per second than there are uh, on 30 so to me it actually is it clears things up a little bit better um and so being able to have now the capability of having that performance mode but now improve the quality of that that's all i wanted really from the ps5 or even the xbox series x when they kind of came out but i agree with you as well when we're kind of talking about like i don't think there's really going to be that much of a big performance jump from the ps5 to the ps6 because we're it used to be that hardware was always outpacing the games where when the new console come a generation comes out uh developers are now having to try to figure out how the console works and and how to be able to get best get sort of the best performance out of that console and then by the end of that generation you start to see the what the potential of what that console could have produced, and you see like the higher end uh, games. Like I, I, I kind of uh, sort of will see that it's a difference between when you when you play Arkham Knight or sorry when you play Arkham Asylum for the first time versus playing Arkham Knight. It's yeah. like it's the that's the kind of generation jump that you feel like over the course of that one generation uh, of first console. But now we're at a point with both the PS5 and Xbox Series X that the 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 games haven't outpaced the hardware yet um in in essence sort of because the obviously playstation saw the need to improve at least a little bit of the gpu and the graphics and the ray tracing uh right. to make the games look better but um it's right now that it, it's it's the games that are that that are getting better not necessarily the hardware the, the, the hardware itself so that's starting to outpace the hardware and i i feel like that when we're getting already into the like the, the 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 PC performance territory, there's really not that much of a difference between the two nowadays. Like, yes, there is, of course, like 4090s will always like stand out more better, or like even on because uh, I'm AMD Red Team, like even the 7900 XTs, like there are always going to be better performance on a PC, but now the two are kind of blending together where it's kind of hard to t- harder to tell the difference. Um, it's going to be difficult to be able to sell consoles going forward, I think, uh, in the future, if we're talking like PS six and Xbox series Y or whatever it's going to be. Yeah. I think like, you know, when we think of console play, uh, you know, that discussion has been around for a while with the rise of PC and more gamers on PC and especially like with Twitch and streaming platforms, helping more PC gamers be seen. Um, but I think it's going to really come down to like the games, the titles that are going to be on console. And that's why like this exclusivity, uh, you know, bit we've talked about before, I don't think that's really going to go away, but it may just look different as we see that, you know, with PlayStation games and they're coming out on PC, but maybe a year or two later. Um, my favorite meme though, of this whole thing, which is, is this meme right here. Can you guys see it? Can you see it? It is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and, yeah. And, and that's totally. the thing. It's, <laughs> I see that meme and I'm like, yeah. welcome yeah. to my world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, so my thing is just like, at first, like, I'm not really, I think it, it this is for a very particular audience. Yeah, I is. thought I would be that audience. Until I saw the price tag, which I think, um, reveal it you to know, us, Camille. What's the price? I don't, I have like had total. a heart attack because I was like, I don't even think I could afford this. What was it? Well, was this no, someone? We can, we can do the U.S. one for it. We can, we'll start with the U.S. and then we'll announce what the pain we had to go through. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's six ninety nine. Um, which, which. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, and yeah. like, and and the thing is, like, again, this is very, very much for a particular audience. 
<laughs> but it's like I love good graphics and I think you really you even though like that memes my favorite meme coming out of all this it's like you can see that like when they put out the trailer afterwards obviously like a YouTube live won't look as yeah. good as like something that they're uploading afterwards yeah. and I don't think it's going to be like, I'm not sold on what I saw, even though I do think it is impressive, like in terms of being able to have that performance mode just be the regular uh, way to play PlayStation, essentially, uh, on the PlayStation 5 Pro. But it's like, will it make noise? Will it sound like a jet is firing <laughs> off? Like, that is more my thing, because it's like, I love my PS5, but this thing gets so hot, and like, it's started like doing weird things recently with like just like my hdmi like the picture like just jumping and where i had to check weird. and double check it's the same hdmi that i had with the console not like i flipped it with another it is the same hdmi but it's like it gets so hot and i do have an external like uh storage attached to it so i don't know if that's like also, t I don't know what's going on, but occasionally, like, it'll jump. Like, I'm playing through um, Final Fantasy VII again, and it will, like, just jump, like, the screen, like, glitch out, and then it'll yeah. go back to normal. And it's mm. because the console is so hot. So, like, I would be more impressed if it's able to do this and not sound like there's a jet flying, uh, taking off from my living room, and also not burn up if I'm playing it in this office here because it's a small office, right? Like, so... That's the concerning things for me. <laughs> wow, I've <laughs> never had that problem with my 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 PS5. Um, yeah, my PS5 is has held pretty stable. So yeah, yeah, like even even like the fans, like I don't like some people I've heard have said that the fans have been super loud on on their PS5, and and yeah, I can hear the fans, but it's not not any different than like a like my PC fans kind of deal. And yeah. I, mine is basically in my review unit since I got it in 2020. So. I guess yeah, I mine is the first first like the Same. first day. Same. I think we all actually were talking about it when we first got the PlayStation yeah. Five. Yeah. Yeah. So and so I don't know what's going on. I even had to like go in, dust everything, and every like there's very minimal dust. You watch those wow. detailed videos about how to pull out the fan. And oh everything. yeah. yeah. <laughs> like you oh, know, I went never had to do that. I, I never went, did that either. <laughs> I, went, I, mean, I should. I, I know. Went, I think I should too. <laughs> I was kind of like oh man do i try to like send this in and then i tried switching the hdmi and it's definitely not an hdmi issue you should, probably, you should probably send that back in or something but it's like i don't think there's a warranty on it i'd probably have to pay i was waiting to see the ps pro like if i would buy it which is not looking like it because i'm canadian yeah. By the way, nine fifty nine ninety nine. So po post tax, you're paying over a grand for the. Yeah. and that's so. without a disc drive. That's no without disc drive. Yeah. And that's the and thing, also Jack. that's also not without the PSVR too. If you ever wanted but, to be able to have that on it. That's the thing, guys. Like <laughs> this is what is more <sighs> astonishing in this. Like I think we all understood this would be for like a niche audience, um, gamers that like value that higher performance level. We I think I understood that it would be pricier than the PlayStation. I didn't expect. I would have figured it came pricey, with everything, but I thought that's what I'm saying. I think I got the iPhone phone max. I don't have so one. Let's say you can buy like a, you, you can know? buy like the cheapest <laughs> iPhone for that price. Uh, but, that, but that's that, the thing. That it's is... like I'm at a crossroads right now, where like as you know, I'm upgrading my setup. I have the Elgato prompter. Yeah, I yeah. got my new. I got new newer lights that is making my old and very on low that, quality on that camera new, new. Okay. <laughs> look bad <laughs> but like I, i'm like i also was looking into getting a new graphics card because i built this pc like right before the pandemic like or right when it started i can't remember exactly and um i was like oh you know what i know why i'm actually starting to play like more intense games on my pc i think i may actually upgrade my graphics card and it's like I could spend a thousand dollars on a PS5 Pro or I could put that thousand dollars towards saving up a few thousand more dollars for a better graphics card. The, the only thing that, that you can kind of spin as like a positive of this is number one, um, you can look at used or refurbished uh, PS5s being a little devalued now that a, a newer version of the PS5 is going to hit the market. 
which could make it a lot better for people who still they haven't actually gotten the decrease the price yet. with the PS5. They I haven't officially they decreased actually the price. Just refurbished. Yeah. So I'm just I'm just talking like they 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 listed like the refurbished versions. Um, so like if you want to get like a used console or something like that, things like that will just as per there being a new system being out there go down naturally. Um, I don't know if PlayStation is officially going to decrease the price of a base PS5, um, mm. and I don't think anybody should expect them to. Um, well, that's, that's what they did with the 4 Pro. Right. Is the price right. Price right. But again, PlayStation now, the, but again, the fact that like they, they just increased the DualSense cost yeah. uh, for like $5. And, and they raised and the price just, of Japan as well. At, yeah. Just look at the, the technology once again, right? Like the PS4, still, I mean, a beautiful console, a great era in gaming, so many amazing games, right? And, and, they, and it runs games really well. You know, games like The Last of Us 2, God of War still look absolutely incredible. But when we talk about that leap, from the four to the five, it's one of the biggest leaps that we've yeah. had in from console generation to console generation, from just graphical fidelity of certain games, ray tracing, and then also obviously performance being the biggest one. Um, and so that's why, like, yeah, like back in the PS4 era, there were certain things that went down. And who knows, maybe even a year or two down the line, we might see the PS5 go down a little bit in price or something. Um, but nevertheless, like that's what I'm trying to the point that I'm trying to get to is because the difference is so minimal. Um, and and because the price is as high as it is, yeah, over a thousand dollars Canadian when all is said and done, and close to American when all is said and done. Mm -hmm. um, it yeah. just makes it so that it's a, a bit of an easier buy or an easier choice to say, you know what, I'm just going to get the regular PS5. You know, or, or I don't even know how much the slim or costs. but but is it that or I'm just going to save up more money for a PC like that's where yes. my head goes yeah. now because oh, it's I like understand. if you're spending a thousand dollars that's like for PC. a console I just think, I just think, that's I like that's money do, for your, your point is is valid and there are a lot of people that will think that way but buying a PC comes with. You just got to know certain things, you know, like th there are a million things that can go wrong with a PC and yeah. you got to open up your rig and get in there and figure out what the problem is. Or if you want to build it, it's a complete nightmare unless you're really knowledgeable. You are, you know, if you want to go for a pre-build, that's even more expensive. That adds to the cost. A lot of people like the simplicity and the ease of access to just buy a PS5, boot it up, toss, toss a game in there or download a game. Oh, you can't toss a game play. in there if you're buying it for a thousand dollars. Oh, if you're, if you're buying, if you're buying the pro, <laughs> you toss, if you're you buying the pro, that. yes, you can. You can, yeah. and that, and I think that's probably my biggest issue with it oh is that they're God. they're not offering the disc drive or they're not offering it to yeah. be a disc version. Um, it's just kind of scary in general for the future of gaming if we're going yes. down a path of all digital everything. I love my physical copies, and don't get me wrong, too. I have a lot of digital downloads and and it's great and it's nice mm -hmm. to have that just easy peasy I'll pre-order this game and it goes live tonight and I can jump in and play right away but I, I well, still love to have my steelbook. I love to my have my is, case. Especially you know? with Marvel's like, Capcom coming out soon. I'm just saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like oh, that too, right? That. I'm like that too, Caboose. I love my physical copies, especially because I have put like Call of Duty downloaded on my PlayStation yeah. on my external. I can't, I can't. What else am I playing that I'm downloading, like, you know, and keeping on my console, right? Yeah. Just because it's like freaking like 260 gigs. Like, it's, it's, it's getting better. Amount. It's getting better. But, but, but still, <laughs> right? The point is like, if this is the pro version, you're thinking that this is going to be the the defining console for like the playstation 5 generation this is what playstation wants to stand for and you don't include all the bells and whistles it's just a missed opportunity for me i i looked up well, actually increase the, the the hard drive size so it's well, yeah, one terabyte it is two terabytes but yeah, yeah. Still, like Still, if you like, if yeah. you <laughs> if you have like a playstation 5 and your your version of it, you already have a discless version of that console. Mm -hmm. Why is the pro discless, right? And I wonder if it comes down to a conversation of, or like maybe this data that they have. Like, I'm curious to how many people actually bought the disc version versus the discless, or 
compare. And I think people were just, I don't even think they have that much data on it because I think people it's, were just trying to buy PlayStation 5s because of how many people are buying they couldn't digital get PlayStation copies. 5s. Sorry. Well, it, well, maybe, but I mean, like, still, like, you can't go based on digital copies of games. You have to go based on what the hardware sells. And I think they don't even yeah. have that data because they weren't making enough PlayStation 5s because of the world, right? Yeah. But I, I want to look at the price of the PlayStation 4 when it came out in 2016 compared to the price of the PS4 when it came out, when they revealed it in November of that year. So the PS4 was launched at two ninety nine, ninety nine 99 US. Oh, this is the US. The Pro was $100 more at $399.99, right? And I had the PlayStation 4, and then I also Mm -hmm. bought the Pro, and I noticed a significant difference in Mm -hmm. the two, and that was $100. We got got, got 4K for that. Yeah. yeah, and that was a hundred dollars. I didn't know the price of graphics, chips, and all this stuff is more pricey, but that's only a hundred dollars difference. Like so, I still think a console needs to fall within a window of affordability, no matter at what level um the, the console's the pro- gonna be at. And and that's very concerning, like you said, because to the future. Yeah, the problem like the problem is is that consoles. the problem is is that consoles have been sold at a loss for decades. Um, the, the, there's a any... bigger problem than that, and and it's the, the true. Magic agree. Word, it's, it's one it's, of the magic word is inflation. That's yep. just that is unfortunately the word of the day. And and actually, uh, funny enough, a, a, a tweet here from Jeff Keeley adjusted for inflation, the cost of every PlayStation console, the PS1 adjusted for inflation, six hundred and eleven dollars. PS2. 546 PS3 still the reigning champ of overpriced consoles (laughs) adjusted for inflation at $778 US PS4 538 to the pro adjusted for inflation 522 the PS5 adjusted for inflation is at 606 and now the pro at 699 so it does fall within that window like you were saying Camille of being just that hundred dollar bump um it's just obviously because of and and this is the 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 word that a lot of these big companies like to use to to put up the shield, right? Um, inflation, inflation, inflation. Yeah, they like um, to blame it on anyone, everyone else but, except themselves. <laughs> but I'm totally with you, Camille, in that like there still always should be a level of affordability with these yes. consoles. We should still make it so that consumers, the average everyday person, can still be able to go out and get their own PS5. Yeah. And yes, you're absolutely right too in that. The Pro is now, without a doubt, regardless of the price, it is the definitive version of the PS5, right? Like this yeah. is, it'll play and and perform and showcase games at their absolute best for yep. this console and this is it, And this is why I know people have been shitting on the Xbox Series S, and especially like developers, like it's difficult to develop for. And that's the problem why Xbox game or uh, games are coming to Xbox because they got to, Put it on the Series S, and it's not the best for performance. I, I th- to, to prove your point, Camille, I think that that's why we need to support the Series S and keep like a, a banging for that. Because if we if it wasn't for the Series S, there would not be other than maybe Nintendo, there would not be an affordable console right now. It is it's still a the of definitive to for, uh, affordable console. If I if I may say, it's still a bit of a catch twenty two because another big complaint that a lot of people had about this current console generation is a lack of games, you know? Yeah, that's yes, true. Sure. That is also we true. have Marvel Spider-Man 2, we got Ratchet and Clank, you know, we got a lot of these different cool games that are exclusive to next gen, but how many can we say? Like, when you look at the PS4 and the library of exclusives yeah. that came out from that generation, Uncharted 4, Last of Us Part 2, Marvel Spider-Man, like, it just the, the list is endless. God of War, it's endless. And it, and it adds so much value to that console and yes, it's fair to say that we have not matched that level from the PS4 now here with the PS5. And you can apply a large reason of that to something like the Series S and it being so difficult to get games certified for it in that we're getting less of these next-gen exclusives. You know what I mean? These, these games that are not on the Xbox One or the PS4. But it's, that's it's the other too. It's a double that, and, and and that's the other thing. I think because we were in this bubble of, you know, the pandemic and not having everything accessible as the timelines of these companies set out essentially yes. 
when it released, it was like, hey, like we don't have those games. And like now for especially for PlayStation with the leaks that came out, it's like, oh hey, we gotta we gotta delay some of those releases and rework everything. It really does feel like a console generation where we don't no, like we obviously understand the value that the technical value of, um, you know, the the level that these new consoles bring. However, they haven't really been showcased with like hit after hit and like, oh my gosh, this is the best time I'm having on my PS5, you know, or this is the best time I'm having on my Xbox Series X, you know, like you just don't have that yet. And we already know, like, the crazy thing to me is, like, I still feel like we just came out of the pandemic when I think of, like, game releases and, you know, um, games specifically for this generation of consoles. It's just that we're already talking about the next generation of PlayStation. We already know through those leaks, like, some information about how that potentially could look like. And it it scares me because I'm like, but we, we just... I still feel like we just we just got the PlayStation 5. Like we we still yeah. have games expected for it. And yeah. with the, that's why this pricing to me and like just more not having everything bundled in with that price of a console especially scares me because it then tells me it's like okay, well if we know these companies are already looking at that next gen we know that that next gen hardware may already be out there in some levels um, in testing phases. What's the idea of like what the next generation of console gaming will be? Will it be like it's taking similar to what Steve's saying, like trying to emulate a PC where you could remove certain aspects and add certain has- aspects? It's more mm. of a buildable, customizable experience. But then, you know, that's cool and all, and you could kind of pick and choose what you value in terms of the performance of that console. But at the same time, then what are we saying for the base level of someone who, you know, used to be a console gamer and maybe now they have a family and they want to just buy a console and have it plugged in in their living room TV and be able to play when they want to, like just have some downtime to themselves, right? That are not more hardcore gamers that don't need that level of customized, you know, experience. Yeah. Um, And I think, again, why I don't think, that's why I don't think we'll go down that route. Just because of PlayStation. Hopefully not. Well, here's the thing too, is that we have to remember is that PlayStation is still playing off of their, their playbook. Um, Because if you think about it, like uh, from PS4 to PS4 Pro, PS4 was released in, if I remember, uh, 2013, and the yeah. PS4 Pro was released in 2016. So if you do the math, technically, uh, if you, the PS5 Pro is about a year later than their normal yeah. MO when it comes to like releasing consoles. So they're still on on that hardware track as if you know the industry hasn't changed. And unfortunately, in, on PlayStation's end, is that the industry has changed around them, but... PlayStation is still playing off of a decade old playbook because uh, it worked for them. They were the high, like they they were definitely the highest selling console for the PS4 and that generation, and they're looking to to be that again for this generation with the PS5. So to them, they don't feel like they need to change. They'll increase the price. They'll release a PS5 Pro all right on schedule as it was as as they were want to do and. And unfortunately, just because of the way the industry has changed a lot, just in general with the pandemic, with layoffs, with inflation, all of that stuff, PlayStation isn't really adjusting to that. Um, and, and I know that a lot of people sort of criticize Xbox for changing at all their, their minds all the time or whatever, but they seem to be the most nimble when it comes to trying to catch, like trying to make a future for itself with, uh, uh, without sort of like stumbling across the, the, the stumbling blocks we're currently facing within the industry. They're trying to see a future for the industry. Whereas like PlayStation's like, Hey, you know, if, 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 if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I think that's kind of where, what they see at it, but the industry neither. But to that point. Yeah, go ahead. That's, that's the problem. I feel like that's why competition is so healthy. You know what I mean? Because we don't have a lot of competition right now because we got just PlayStation nintendo all the way at the tippy top and there's no like no xbox to duke it out is playstation just say yeah ps5 pro 700 dollars, you know 800 yeah, dollars. Yep. there's just no like and they know you know for as much as we're gonna have conversations people about are this, gonna buy it 
yeah. exactly. Yeah. For as much as you're going to see discourse about it online, people are going to go to GameStop. Come November, what is it, November 7th? They're, they're going to go and they're going to buy it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's not going to be hard not to find one because big, not everyone. No, they're not, sure. they're not going to be, you know, getting ripped off shelves ripped the off way that the, the PS5 yeah. did. Back in 2020, for one. Yeah, exactly. right. Yeah. It's not going to be like that, but people are going to buy it enough for them to say the way we priced it was justified. You know what I mean? For them to go to their investors and say, yeah. see, you know, like. Yeah. Although I will say, as well. a, yeah, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. My, mine's no, no, literally no, a joke. Don't. No, no I'm, go ahead. My, my okay, too, I'm, so go ahead. Go ahead. So Stein uh, from Xbox literally tweeted out Xbox controller check a fire stick a fire TV stick check uh, one uh, one uh, or wait one M of of Game Pass Ultimate check eighty nine dollars with Prime six hundred dollars plus left over to buy twenty four inches of symbiote Spider Man. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But I mean, hey, they won't. Or one month, I should say. Yeah, we'll they, won't, they won't get Spider Man. On on that, oh, they'll right? get Spider Man. Some old games might they'll come get back. Them in Marvel vs. No, Capcom. I mean, yeah, they, 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 they'll, 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 they'll get Spider Man maybe in Ultimate Spider-Man. Alliance. Or, yeah, yeah, but they're yeah. not going to get the Spider Man no, first not. person experience. Uh, right? well, and that, hey, let's and that's the thing. Where, where does, where does Spider Man show Suns. up? He's in Number that one. one. So yeah, but I mean, a for a for first person. Where does he show up? At the end of the day, everything goes back to Microsoft. He ends up on PC anyway. Same. Yeah, but Microsoft I Microsoft mean, wins regardless. Don't you rule yeah. your eyes at me, Caboose. I see that. The the if you're gonna be able to compare the sales that 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 Spider Man 2's inevitable PC port will make comparatively to how much that game sold on the PS5, it'll be it'll be like you know, like come on. <laughs> it's it's like hand <laughs> over fist on yeah. PS5. There's we're at, we're at like eleven million there. copies and counting. All There's the more PCs 5? out there than PS5s, and there's gonna definitely be a lot more than there PS5. are not so, more PC sure. gamers than there are PlayStation gamers. There'll definitely be Worldwide. more PC gamers than yeah. Concord. <laughs> well, oh. <laughs> but, like, okay, so my, my thing though, my thing is everyone with this release, they're talking about this vertical stand. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't you stand your PC? <laughs> PlayStation 5 vertically the whole time? Like, you could. Get, you could. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta no, get a, a, you gotta get a binder holders. You ever see the binder oh. holders? You gotta get the. No, like, like I have I have mine vertically, although it's not the best way I've learned through trying to figure out what's wrong with my PlayStation 5. Not the best way to actually stand your PlayStation 5 because you know, the van, the fan can't vent properly. So that I. That might put be a reason why. That, you're that's probably the, why your PlayStation is getting hot. What's wrong with my PS5? I've got it in a in the box turning yeah. it on right now i have it covered <laughs> in a blanket why is it getting so hot the thing is i that's one thing i didn't get and i still don't understand why is all the huff and puff over this vertical stand when literally the stand that comes in the box of the playstation 5 is meant to be either horizontal or vertical well th- I, I think that's, the, the, that's the difference the is like, yeah i think it doesn't come with it anymore yeah it doesn't come Wait, with the stand. Wait, what? Yes, no, yes. you have to buy the stand. Yeah. That's the problem that people it's have with it. Yeah. Yeah, you have to buy and the it's stand. A cool, and it's such a cool looking like metal stand. You Is know? it that you have to buy that stand or it just doesn't come with a stand? It like, I thought stand. they have to just buy it, that metal stand. It comes with stand. like a little, it comes with, I think, if it's like the slim, it comes with like a little piece so that you can like place it Elevate it, yeah. Um, oh, ele- oh, right, horizontally, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you like if you're gonna stand it up vertically, you're just standing it on the bottom and and kind of. I mean, it, it's not wait, gonna wait, go anywhere so really. Wait, but. I didn't. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just catching up here. I've been living <laughs> under a rock. So wait, guys, it doesn't come. I'm gonna drop in our group. It doesn't. It doesn't like. Wait, the slim doesn't come with this. No. The, no. no. Okay. Okay. The, so that's the one that stand that you linked there. That's the one that comes with all the base PS5. Yes. Right. Yeah. 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 With the slim, with the updated design. They created a new stand for it that's got like a metal ring at the bottom. Um, yeah, that the one stand, that plastic one. Yeah, uh, that stand is sold separately. But yeah. I mean, the metal ring. Is, I don't care about the metal ring. It does it come with a regular like in the box stand? Not the one. No. Not it's like the one you linked sep- there. No, set specifically stand is separate. Sold sold separately, sold separately. Yeah, yeah. I just thought it was for the metal, like the metal, the ring, nope. to make it look fancy. Yeah. That's crazy. There, there's something like you're saying, Steve Saylor, to, to to elevate it so that you can place it horizontally, and it's fine. But mm. if you're standing it upright, you have to either buy the stand or just kind of stand it upright, basically. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. But see, they already did that with the slim, right? So it's like, this is what I'm saying. This is why this is even scarier. Like you're paying. This is the this is the last bit of the Jim Ryan version of PlayStation because the 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 PS4 era of PlayStation we had Sean Layden and you could like you could see the two different styles of running PlayStation uh, over the course of these two generations and Jim Ryan's all about the money. Yeah, because you thought everyone would just have their PlayStation and just be yeah. upgrading to this. Yeah, like, you, you don't, don't have that, dude. Like How you don't have a spare. Stand? You could yeah. just yeah you like you could you don't have that spare seven six six nine hundred dollars to to a on a PS5 people, Pro. A lot of people don't realize like how close PlayStation was to be in, in really rough shape because what happened with Concord, there was like ten more of them on the way yeah. under under True. the Jim Ryan leadership. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and so they cut that like so games of service exactly. like the uh, amount from 12 yeah. to 6 boom like that and and yeah. it's, i'm sure it's even reduced even further now to just basically like let bungie do it and that's it you know yep. what i mean like the, the we, i mean the last of us obviously was going to have the big factions mode that mm -hmm. got canned who knows what other studios are working on what that that's probably behind the scenes gotten their doors shut on that mm -hmm. um but like yeah the, the at the end of the day it, when you look at that PS4 era, when you look at what brought oh it so much God, success, sorry. it's no, that's all right. It's it's one single player story driven action adventure after another, and the more of that that we get, the better. We just need a nice library of them for the PS5, like we did for the PS4. Now you can't even say God of War Ragnarok is one of them. It's available on PS4 as well. All that yep. we can really say in terms PC, of next big, well, yeah. And all you can really say are the big like PlayStation Five like reasons why you get the console right now is Spider Man Two, maybe Ratchet and Clank if you love that franchise enough, and then down the line it's gonna be like Wolverine. <laughs> it's just yeah. gonna be Insomniac. Like, no, I'm not saying it's, it's all it's gonna War. be. Did you say God of War? Yes, but Ragnarok's available on PS4 as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but these aren't. The, it, it, it isn't. It Five. isn't a game that you, for sure. But it yeah. isn't a game where it's like you have to you get have a PS Five for yeah. it. You know. Yeah, yeah. True, yeah. True. I mean, I, th there are some games I think it's like are worth getting a PS Five for. I mean, obviously like the Spider Man Astro, franchise, yeah. uh, Ratchet and really Clank, Masterbot. Yeah. Like there are. There are definitely yeah, good games to be able to play, but did it's he just, also say like he's looking to bring that a PC as well? He, he will love to bring yeah. it, but not but not for VR. But I, mean, sure but I feel like I mean, the, they're going. I'm sure like they're going to try to do like the whole Microsoft route. Like, hey, we want our games yeah. everywhere because that's where I don't think they they'll ever that, say day one. I don't think yeah. they'll be nope. day one. Well, well, they already I said so. I can't games. remember. I think it was the new CEO uh, in, a, in an earnings call said that. On uh, anything that's like a multiplayer games of service, it'll be day and date with PC. Yes. Um, yeah. Similar to what they did with Helldivers yes. and Concord, but anything that's more like the traditional single player experiences, it'll be uh, PS5 time or releases. console first. Time yeah. Yeah. Time yeah. Time yeah. Which makes sense. I think. Yeah. I think that makes sense, right? And like with that release plan, that is not to drive PlayStation uh, PC users and like to drive them into PlayStation games. That's solely looking out for the console itself. They're still in the yeah. console yeah. market. They're still trying to sell their consoles. Like that is mm -hmm. their main thing, and, right? And, and, and if there is somebody who is a PC player and they see the the next exclusive, whether it's like a, a hypothetically another God of War, another Uncharted, or something, and they really want to play it that badly. It's just an extra win for PlayStation if they're just yeah, just drop that thousand so, yeah. dollars to play it pro. ever so That's slightly enough like, enough to get a PS Five. Yeah. Like you, you'll be dropping a thousand if you want to have that clarity of you know the four K, like one hundred twenty ray tracing. Yeah. Which like it would it would have been nice if they dropped the price of the PS Four because I feel like that'll be like okay, well, I'm just got a PS Four now. Yeah, but, that, but that's the thing. I feel like this, if they priced it lower, and like again, I am not into tech. I don't know how much these chips cost to like put together, and that may be a driving reason why they have to cost that much yeah. to make that huge difference. Um, so you could play performance mode continuously, pretty much. Um, but there, it, it was like such a missed opportunity to price this at you know a hundred dollars more than the regular PlayStation Five to get PC players to yeah. invest in a playstation like mm -hmm. i think if they priced it down a bit lower closer to regular playstation 5 like you could have like playstation could have definitely got more pc players on board 
And I think they might have also done that because they know they can't win that market. Like PC gamers will always be PC gamers. They will always know that it could be graphically or pay, played graphically better on a PC if the game's available on PC yeah. and that would be their first place to play. So strategically, I think PlayStation's like, hey, we won't win that market, but we could give them a little something. And I think that comes to say, like, what is playstation investing in the you know announcement and expectations for the playstation 5 pro i don't think it's that much the fact that they didn't make this announcement a huge thing it was just like hey we're doing a technical presentation cool nine minute video it's out right um and maybe because this is the end of the jim ryan era for them and they're more focused on what comes after in their new the new vision of what playstation could offer which hopefully is better affordability i mean if they're already winning um the market on first play like first game or first player experiences and first player titles it's like you you should win that market, but you shouldn't try to stifle that market as yeah. well by mm -hmm. overpricing it, right? Like you yeah. still want to make sure there's good value. And especially when they've been releasing games and they haven't hit where they expected they would hit. It's like, okay, you know, then you really have to create that confidence back for those PlayStation fans that are diehard, which means regular gamers may not see the value in PlayStation right now. They may just want to wait for a PC if they already have a PC, or they just may not may pass on the, the game if they're if they're not willing to game like game on it, especially with something like Steam Deck out and you have like uh, handhelds that are able to perform at PC levels, right? So to them, I think what you said, Steve Pro, it may just be like the cap of the Jim Ryan Ryan era. Like this is it. It was already in the making. We have to yeah. put it out because yeah. shareholders and we're going to focus in the future. And hopefully that future means affordability and better games. Exactly. Games, 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 I think is, is at the end of the day. Um, affordability is a huge part of it. No doubt. But uh, just, just give me the games. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I want to, I want to, when we get to the PS six, I want to look back on the PlayStation five and be like, Oh man, Spider-Man two Wolverine. Oh, God of war. You know, oh, remember when they they revealed Uncharted Five or, or Ghost of Tsushima <laughs> Two? You know what I mean? Like, I need that. I need that. And you know, it's, there's all this talk too about how PlayStation apparently doesn't have IPs. What are you talking about? Like, uh, yeah, like they need yeah. more IPs. Original IPs yeah. that PlayStation has that yeah. you can list. You, 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 it's, no, it's it's, no, sorry, endless. sorry, sorry, Caboose. They don't because they didn't hit a specific sales level. That's yeah, not I just <laughs> you know, like, uh, come on, they don't <laughs> exist. That, that, like, if it's below a, this class, like, no, don't, they don't uh, exist. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, I man. know, but then that's the thing, too, right? Like, if I uh, if your friend who is not a PlayStation gamer asks you, should I buy a PlayStation 5? Like I've had that before my friends ask me and I tell them, no, wait, like wait for a game that really stands out to you yeah. that it's like, mm -hmm. I need to play that game yeah. for me. That is definitely playing play like Spider-Man two on the PlayStation five playing God of War Ragnarok on the PlayStation five. However, you could also get that on your PS uh, four, as you mentioned, Caboose. So you could just hold off on buying a PlayStation five right now, right? Mm -hmm. Like there's nothing really there. I, and uh, this is not to like hate on the PlayStation five. I, I love my PlayStation five, but it's just like, there's nothing there that makes it stand out um as like this is the generation yeah, really like when i look yeah. and, and we talked about this off the stop like you look at the playstation generations of past if there's one generation that you could tell a friend ah, you don't need to get that generation what would that generation be it would be the playstation 5 right now for me i th i think yeah i think a lot yeah. of people would agree yeah. I think a lot of people would agree. This is if there ever was a console generation to at this current moment skip out on for a lack of games or or just a reason to really invest in that console, this maybe would be it. Now, do you want Fortnite to look really good or do you want Black Ops 6 to look and play really good or whatever? Yeah, if that if the answer is yes for you then maybe, you know, you want to get yourself a PS5, but if you just casually playing games every now and again, if it for you is just like, I just got back from work and want to jump on and play a game for 30 minutes. Yeah. Like right now, no matter which way you slice it, uh, the series X PS five, like this console generation just doesn't have a whole lot to offer. 
Um, and so, yeah, I, I would agree with you. I, if anything, what I would do if somebody didn't have a console, I tell them, dude, just go look for like a used PS4 and get that, man. Like you yeah. got yeah. a ton of games to choose got from. A ton of games for that one. PS4. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Um, I was curious with the Xbox, the, the one, the, the one that's coming out in October. Um, did, is there any other graphical upgrades for that one, or is just hard? Was it just like space wise upgrade? Which one? The, the new Xboxes that are coming Xbox, out. Yeah. Oh, like, um, like how they have the Galaxy one and this and Galaxy that? one because I know it's 4K 120 for the Series X and. It's two terabyte, but that's uh, that's a hundred dollars cheaper than a PS5 Pro. That's what I was like. Yes, was it there is. Anything, was there anything else that they added in there? Like, I want to know. Like, like is it like compared? Well, there's the digital to version. Like I don't know. I can't remember how much that that one was going for, but it was uh, the digital 449, version. Four forty nine. Four forty nine. Already like three hundred dollars cheaper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. No, I don't think that there was anything like graphic wise. I think maybe like better performance as far as what I remember seeing, but. Yeah. Um. I haven't seen any like not like any like graphical details as far as like what we saw in the presentation today. But I'm certain we're gonna probably hear about it soon. I guess. Very, yeah, because it, that's yeah. coming out in October. Uh, yeah, October 15th, and then of course, like once again, they have the Series S option as well, which you can still get 120 frames, but it's not you know you know it's not 4K and stuff like that. But the yeah, it's still 1440p. I think right. 1440, yeah, 1440p. Um, most of the time 1080. Uh, but uh, yeah. <laughs> but. Uh, it's still a good value, like three forty nine as well, and you pretty much get almost every game as well, except for I know Spider Man, God of War, all that stuff. I get it. Wolverine, I know. Little Marvel, yeah, yeah, yeah. Marvel, Black like like Ops Six. But but that's yeah. I, I think and that's Starfield. and you get indie first, and you get indie first. Yeah. But but you know we're talking about like um, exclusivity, like uh, you know, and we hate that. But at the same time, that kind of drives the console business. Like it, it yeah. is a driver of the console business, right? Like yes. Nintendo has that game under lock. And no matter if you have a Steam Deck or not, a part of you, if you don't have a Nintendo Switch, is itching for that Nintendo Switch to play the next Mario game, the next Pokemon, mm -hmm. whatever it may be, right? And mm -hmm. I it really goes to like, man, at the Game Awards, if they announce that next title for PlayStation what is that title going to be and will it be a playstation 5 exclusive will be big yeah i think it's like a state of play soon that's why i'm like they need, they we need a one. showcase we need Something. like i, I, I mean, listen September, usually we have one the rumors are pointing towards there's going to be a state of play this month um yeah. but the rumors well, I got two weeks before be, they get, get that, that I mean, end yes up. <laughs> yeah they're running out of time for sure but then again the last, but time, last Jeff time we Grubb, did that yeah yeah the last time Jeff Grubb said there was going to be a state of play in May, it on May 31st. 31st, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so like he, he corrected himself this time and said it'll be sometime in September. Yes, uh, yeah. there you go. I'll probably like a, just before Tokyo. I mean, I the, but but the, the problem that I, I think have with that is the, all the rumors are saying it's going to be a state of play. Like, uh, where's the showcase? showcase you know, you're right. The, this, listen, the state of play well, in May was is, solid. They had some good reveals. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. Xbox brought the thunder with their showcase in june we were yeah. some of us were there yeah. i think actually was everyone here there live at the xbox showcase yeah, earlier yeah i think so yeah. yes yeah. i mean the, it was electric in that, that theater we were going yeah. for yeah. 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 For it. and, yeah, and like, that, oh yeah like, what, and what, that what, showcase was pretty much oh, yeah. it, it had everything that xbox yeah. should have shown and what we felt like would have gotten the crowd the most excited we well, this was you got to remember, like this is th this is war. essentially what uh what like PlayStation was last year. Like they had like but or, last year they had their showcase in May, right? But that was the thing. So the PlayStation had like this is this year is PlayStation's uh what Xbox was in 2022. Um, like they're so. very like light year, this, and then no so off season for, like, you for, the, have for the for the, the way that it's, no, it's, looking, it's because the pandemic the that, that looking, was their off, like that was essentially their off season it's it's because what did they of announce so, in 2023 showcase so 23's showcase had like the new metal gear remake it had the spider-man yep. 2 gameplay reveal it had the you wolverine know what? Movie, right Guys. no wolverine so wolverine and spider-man 2 is back in 2021 which is honestly for me yeah. the best playstation showcase that they've ever put on yeah. outside of maybe like 2016's e3 presentation yeah right. um but that, but that is a good point, Steve. They did skip 2022 entirely, mm -hmm. so maybe but, they're doing but, like a buy in. No, thing? no, because you know what? I do think it is going to happen. I think before Tokyo Game Show, I'm even thinking either the 24th 
or the 25th, Tuesday or Wednesday, right before Tokyo Game Show, because Death Stranding. They have um, to show. Uh, but I think do you they think that's <laughs> showcase or state of play. Oh, no. So I think it's good. I think be... that's state of play for Tokyo Game yeah. Show specifically. You yeah. think it's a state of play? Yeah, they need a I showcase. Think so. No, uh, and and they have. The, there has been precedent for them doing a showcase in September. Uh, problem is, is again, I think it's just because right now we have no idea what PlayStation's like first party studios are doing next year. Well, well, the problem, I think a lot of it stems to from the, the, the cancellation of a lot of these live service. Sure. Games, yeah. Right. I think that and that was um, supposed to pad a lot, a lot of the of that, in between. Yeah. Yes. A lot of that was supposed to be like part of these big plans going forward for PlayStation. And now mm-hmm. that we have the situation with Concord, now that we have the cancellation of the factions live service thing that Naughty Dog was doing, um, yep. Now it, it, it kind of removes like oh. a lot of the slate coming up for PlayStation. That would have been but a lot of live service. But, but, <laughs> yeah. but also, I'm trying oh to. I'm, okay, I need to go through what was announced at the last State of Play. Wait, wait, wait. 2023. State of Play, or sorry, not State of Play it showcase. Okay. Yeah, it was. Um, Again, where was Belgium Concord? Remake. Concord, I think, was when we got the reveal of that game there. Was yeah. it was in it? Uh, Final Fantasy? And then they did Concord the... Was this? I thought it was this year. No, I okay, think so they announced got... it last year. Oh, he had a sandwich. It was yeah, a sandwich. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's sure. a lot of indie titles, I think. I don't think there was yeah. anything... Spider-Man 2, Metal Gear, Snake Eater, right? Yeah. Um, We got the... Oh, yeah. um The... Oh, my God. The PS5, the, 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 the Portal... Yeah. Oh, the Thank yeah, you. Portal, yeah. Mirage, Alan Wake 2. Yeah. Okay. They went hard on Final Fantasy 16, Dragon's Dogma, no. um, Marathon, yeah, uh, Marathon Street Fighter 6. Yep. Haven Studio. Right. Wait, was that this year or last year? Last year. Oh, right? okay. The Talus Principal 2. Uh, and then Foam Stars, right? Yep. Um, and then there were indie. T- then they did the stars. indie. I remember <laughs> yeah. from hey, start, free, they did indie. Right they had Hell Divers, right? Yeah. Ghost mm-hmm. Runner. Um, ba, ba, ba. Five Nights. Uh, do, do, do. What else was on here? Let me. Yo, this was a long showcase. It was like an hour, I think. Um, it was just then, like boom, yeah, boom, but, boom. I remember. But that's a, but okay. Game so that's game, game. That's the thing. When you look at that list of games. And like Steve said, we don't know what's on the slate because everything kind of came out that they that they've already about, talked about. Right? Yep. Yeah. But so the, that's the thing I is, there's so think... many, there's so many big unknowns as far as like what each of their big studios are working on. We don't know what Night Dog's working on. We don't know what Sony Santa Monica's working on. Uh, we don't know. know what... they, they know, of course. I, think, oh, I, think, I, I would they, hope so. And, and especially if... with the PlayStation Five Pro now. They have to sell this con like they even if they don't they're not putting all their eggs in one basket. You released it even if it's like a yeah this is the end of the Jim Ryan era. There still needs to be the follow up of like okay well why should I get a PlayStation Five Pro now? Yeah, and I I don't think we're gonna see that for a year. Showcase you don't think we're gonna see that in a year? No, we'll see it in a year. Is why why a PS Five Pro is 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 needed over a PS Five, but by that time. But as far as I think they uh, show, I don't like. I don't think there's going to be anything that uh, like uh, exclusive that they'll say is. Oh, this is why you need to get a PS Five Pro. Like I'm not seeing like Sony Santa Monica's next game and being like with the PS Five Pro, we're able to do this, 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 and this, and this. Mm -hmm. Uh, And and so I think we're going to like see. We're not going to see that much of a difference um, um, in games that are coming out within the next within the next year. I'd say probably maybe 2026 we'll start to see maybe like that gap widen a bit where it's like oh okay now we see why games look better on on the PS5 Pro. But I don't but think it's like it. I think the way the current consoles are right now with yeah. if the, if what they show today is what they're what they're what what's going to happen and everyone's trying to figure out what it is actually that the the, the performance if any what's going to improve. We're not going to see that difference until a year from now. So do you think the, cause okay. My thing is like, okay. Thinking about what's next year, right? So next year we know Nintendo is going to announce the next, iter- like the next, uh, addition to the switch family, right. Or the consoles family for Nintendo. Yep. And if that happens, you know, it's slated for um, next year, early next I'm year. I'm on the right? price on that because that's going to be running but, but, some 
But as PlayStation, yeah, oh, right. I know you're not comparing consoles, but and yeah. you know, like PlayStation, if they release more information on games to come out and Switch to if that comes out around the same time, it's not the same type of news, but they are still competing for eyeballs on their news. Mm-hmm. And I would think PlayStation would want to not be around the Switch launch or a Switch announcement. So that's why I'm like, okay, there's either two scenarios. We get this showcase or three scenarios we get the showcase um like this month 24th 25th right before tokyo game show um or you get because then also you could have demos on the playstation pro on the show floor at tokyo game show for some of these games that could be show like announced in a showcase right Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um because it is out there people have played it um yeah. yeah, but I mean, like, if devs, like, say for Death Stranding 2, if that is, like, being made on the PlayStation Pro, I'm not saying exclusive, but, like, the dev kit was a PlayStation Pro, then they may be able to do dev kits, uh, demos for games that, like, the fans won't be able to play, but sure. media will be able to see in action, right, um, at de- behind-the-scenes demos. Or they're going for, like, that E3, non-E3 time, Right before that, which happened last year when May 24th is when the last showcase was, or it would be something like late, like right after that E3 non E3 time. Like, I feel like that is way too long to wait and like have just no one knows what's happening about I'm just, anything. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just curious though, because like Tokyo is not that far. Uh, Tokyo Game Show, I should say. Sorry, it's not that far. And um, Tokyo is uh, really far from Tokyo is really far. Yeah, really yeah. Really yeah. Far, right? it's, there's no walking distance. Why not have a showcase today? I loop in loop in the console and be like, the hey, price. I think, uh, here. the price. They know the price is a lot. I think so, they yeah, know. But I feel like showing uh, think, off the games would, would have distract people from like the like or at least mm-hmm. soften the blow of the price. So I think probably there's some uh, if it's specifically for Tokyo Game Show, I think they probably don't want to uh if there's any marketing specific uh, beats or or plans or schedules in place. That uh, they probably are not able to um talk that, about just yet and i honestly think that it's just the way that playstation operates in terms of its marketing and showcasing its games is so different even like 2021 showcase True. is rare like it's really yeah. rare when yeah. you think about it because there shouldn't have been a reason that we got spider-man 2 and the wolverine announcement in the same in showcase, the same showcase mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. Crazy. That, yeah. that, that that was insane right and now you got all these people who are saying things like why do they reveal wolverine so far ahead of time like Granted, all these things like the, the marketing is not necessarily for consumers I- entirely. And God of War, like we got so much that stuff was, in that show. Okay, yeah, that was, yeah. Wow, yes. wild time. Yes, um, but so what I'm trying to say is like these days, even look at Marvel Spider-Man Two as a perfect example of that. We didn't hear an, a peep for over a year, a year and a half, pretty much after that reveal or that announcement. We didn't hear a peep out of that game. And all, yep. it became a meme in the community at a certain point that we just kept seeing the, the same, same image shot. Yeah. over and over <laughs> and over again. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't until they didn't even have a release date. It wasn't until they had like a good idea of a window they were going to release this game in that they said, okay, finally, we're going to give you some gameplay. And I feel like that's a part of a reason why PlayStation was said, all right, we're going to take yeah. that. Um, what else can we gather for a, a, a showcase maybe, right? Because if they want to do another showcase, you have to have a Ghost of Tsushima 2 reveal, right? Like, it's just got to happen. That is a showcase yeah. material reveal. You oh got to have... Imagine if the, ri- the Rise of the Ronin... Yeah, oh, right? Uh, like, ooh, wait, so- hold on. You bring up a good point. Tokyo Game Show... Ghost of Tsushima 2. That'd maybe, be good. maybe. That'd be a good but announcement I, there. I don't think so. I honestly think I don't think so, but it'd be cool to dream. Yeah. That would be sick. Um, but like, you know, a Ghost of Tsushima 2, that's that, that's a showcase worthy sort of uh, announcement. Wolverine gameplay is something that's like, we got to save this for the show. I don't even you know think I mean? they show gameplay. You wouldn't need gameplay. They just need to give us a good trailer of what is happening yes, in yes. the game. But the next time we see Wolverine from Insomniac, it will not be a CG trailer. It you will be so? gameplay. Based mm-hmm. on what they did with Spider-Man 2. True. And I mean, look, I spoke to Brian Intar. I've seen him in interviews. He said he wanted to hold back as much as humanly possible from Spider-Man 2. If it was up to him, he wouldn't have even marketed the game at all. And <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. 
almost a direct quote. So I feel like that's kind of becoming kind of a philosophy at Insomniac to say, we're just going to hold back as much as possible. And I think a lot of that is carrying over to PlayStation as a whole. They're just saying, yeah. we're going to give you guys the games when the games are ready. Now, granted, yeah. an announcement like Ghost of Tsushima 2 it's inevitable, right? Like they're yeah. going to talk about that before they show you gameplay for it. Um, because that's just one of those big, exciting announcements. If there is an Uncharted 5 or an Uncharted reboot, whatever the rumors are that are circulating around that, that's going to be one of those where you just see a logo. It's like, hey, it exists. That's it. Okay, we'll see you in like five years. You know what I mean? Like things like that. And it's sad, but it feels like they just don't have some of those things at the ready. Some of those things just aren't they they're not prepared to to go all out. And that seems to be the case. That's the unfortunate situation that we're in. I do kind of miss the E3 time where it was like, June, you you guys better have something to show. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I do Here's miss my those times. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I do miss those times, but we're 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 long gone from those days. And PlayStation knows that no matter what, people are gonna buy these games, they're gonna get excited for these games. So if they want to hold off. Or if that's what they think is right to do, it, it doesn't matter. You know, yep. people, people, yeah. are, whenever, Agreed. if it's one week before release for the next Wolverine, people are going to pre order the hell out of it and go crazy for it when it comes out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Eight, 18 inches of Wolverine claws. Uh, <laughs> that would sell. That would sell. Yeah. Uh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. On that note, I got to, I got to get back to my meeting. So all right, uh, thank you all for all the, right. for the fun and conversation about PS5. Thanks, Bye. Yeah. <laughs> all right. See you guys. All right. Um, well, actually, this has been an hour, so I'm pretty much good. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I, I, know, just I told you it was the main course. I told you it's a lot to talk about. It's a it lot is. to talk it about. Is. You know what, though? I will say there are a lot of PS5 Pro enhanced games that are on the way. They showcased a lot of Spider Man yeah. 2. I think Alan Wake 2 is on that list as yeah. well. Um, and I'm sure that list is going to grow exponentially over these next couple of months and obviously years. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing, Much you know, needed Final Fantasy as well, right? Rebirth, right. You know, and, and I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, That's like insane, man. Uh, are, are there some games <laughs> out there that <laughs> really awesome. need that yeah. bump in tech that the pro can offer? I'm really looking forward to seeing yeah. over these next couple of years. Are there going to be? Are we going to start getting games that let let's say can only run 30 on a PS5? But can go up to sixty on a pro. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. then you're start you're going to start to see oh. This is the bang for your buck. It's just, why do we announce the pro now and yeah. not when we can get games like that? But yeah, you know what? There's some I, like, there's some improvements. I, see, that's the thing. I, just, it's like, like they are smarter than that. And yes. like, yes, it could be a yes. throwaway, but everything is a potential. It, in the business world, even if it's a throwaway end of Jim Ryan era, it's still an opportunity to market the company in the best light possible. Yes. Yes. And that's why I think like, even a, maybe it is not a showcase, but a state of play, something this month showcasing sure. games that yeah. will need, like you would prefer to play that at a higher level. And, um, I, I just feel like it's, it was, it's a miss up. They missed them. I think I they mean, missed it, the mark. It could still be like, coming. Maybe it's, no, yeah. Like I feel like today would have been the perfect case of like, hey, here's how Final Fantasy work looks. Here's a little sneak peek to Alan Wake but 2 DLC. Maybe even Marvel DLC as well. Like, and then like only Chris Pro yeah. footage. You know, you, you see here. You're like, yes. wow, I need I want But this. even remember the you know? PlayStation 5 state of play, it was all about hardware particularly what that hardware could do when they reveal the PS5. Mm -hmm. And yes, it was like, or not when they revealed the PlayStation 5, but when they went hard on like what the, it was pretty much like a technical presentation of mm -hmm. the PlayStation 5. Yeah. But what it followed up, you had those great announcements, right? You had the God of War, you had the PS2, uh, Spider-Man 2 on the PS5, right? You had all of those things. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get a PS5. And I know this is yeah. not the flagship console of this general well now it is going to be of the generation if they decide to market it that way but it's just like i feel like they do have to have something soon maybe it's not a showcase but a state of play this month just highlighting some of the games that were interested in updates about those games and showcasing like oh here how here is how it looks on a ps5 pro you know like that is just an easier lift for me unless they really don't know a lot about 
the release windows for those games, especially because of the Insomniac leaks. They were probably banking. And this is another thing with like how PlayStation's business is. They do bank on those first person titles and like those home run titles, right? Um, Of every console generation, right? And you you mean first party, I'm assuming, right? Sorry. Yes. Sorry. First party. Yeah. Um, releases right so, and like those home but those ones that like are they know they're going to be a home run yeah. and maybe it is they just know because of all the delays that have to happen now because of closings and leaks and all information that, getting yeah, out right. there it's just an unprecedented year for them of how they are going to for announce sure things. yeah for sure yeah, yeah. No, i mean nevertheless um th- th- i Rest assured, sigh of relief, your base PS5, if you currently own one, is still great. All of your games are going to look amazing on it. You do not need to feel an insane amount of FOMO if people are going to be jumping to the PS5 Pro. They'll be there waiting for you. (laughs) It's not It's not like this massive leap to the point where it it renders the regular PS5 obsolete, right? And I think that that is good for everybody at the end of the day. Um, and like I said at the top of the show, it's just it's proof if there wasn't already any out there that these consoles, they're, they're starting to reach a ceiling in terms of the advancement of the technology. So don't be surprised when we get to a PS6 and like the talk of the town is it can be 8K now instead of 4K and some games maybe will be 120 FPS, but Gotham Knights 2 is locked at 60, guys. Sorry. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. the, the, don't don't be surprised if that's going to become the conversation down the line, right? Like, these consoles, they're advanced, and it's a big, yeah. big leap from our last console generation. Now we're getting a bit of a glimpse into the fact that there's not a whole lot more wiggle room. Yeah. Which, by the way, uh, there was a CNET post uh, I put in our chat as well earlier. Uh, they, he was playing in AK, played play the system in AK, uh, the Gran Turismo, and he said it's more realistic in AK. So they make it a there better driver, but it, it does it does do AK the system, believe it or not. All right, so, yeah. all right, but, but uh, yeah, it, you know what? Honest, end of the day, when when it's time for you to get one, and like when more games come available, then you have options, and maybe the price yeah. might be a little bit lower. Then, if not, you save. Hopefully, you save enough by then to pick up. You have options to pick. Like, oh, do I want more? Do I want smoother experience, or do I want like? Let me just get the cheaper option. Like, in a way, this yeah. could be PlayStation's like Xbox S mode now. In a way, you know. Yeah. So you're gonna but get the I same do, I, Yeah, and I do think this is probably the mark of when we're gonna see those PlayStation Five exclusives come yeah. out um, more frequently. Yeah, it would have been nice to see something because, like, it's just like, why am I getting this now? In a way, you know. Yeah. So. Uh, they, they honestly, I'm surprised too that like if, really if there is going to be a state of play <laughs> later this month, why so why not cap the huh? show off with that? You know, like exactly. Why why I mean. do we always got to announce these by the eleventh hour? The like, price, but, the price but I, would have probably been the dead. You don't cap off, and PlayStation is the 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 company that showed that price and everyone went crazy you know yeah. had an affordable price for a really great console in the past i don't think you could cap off a showcase showing this and then having the price they could have done it like showing no, it off like, and not, having the price not, in a pre- press release but just, i mean just saying just them saying at maybe at the end of the show or before they they reveal the price of the console whatever just saying later this month we're going to have a state of play mm. that's going to showcase the, the capability of the PS5 Pro and some of the games they're going to be getting enhancements with. Because yeah. based on a lot of the rumors out there, it's happening, right? Like, and, and you know what? Like, even if there weren't any rumors out there, I feel like as consumers or as just people who are tapped in, it's obvious. You know what I mean? They're, yeah. not, they're not just going to give us like a 30-second little look into Marvel Spider-Man 2 and, and, and The Last of Us Part 2 and say, here's these tiny little improvements. No, they want to have like a big showcase or not necessarily showcase state of play, I guess, yeah. of like, here's some of the games that are going to be getting enhanced and yeah. here's the way that they're going to look. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm really surprised if there is a state of play um, at the end of the month or something before Tokyo Game Show that they didn't end this show saying it's happening on this date. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I'm sure internally they've planted the flag, right? They said, this day we're doing the state of play. It's just like, let's build some excitement. Let's build some hype towards that. 
Like, I'm shocked there's no like comparison uploaded to YouTube yet. Like there's still nothing. Like no 4K video to hype it up or anything. They just have the reveal trailer, which is just well, the trailer cinematic. I think shows, right? Has... No, this I just no? I just skimmed through it. Not a single oh, gameplay. Wow. It's all like and, high frames, this stuff, and like in the PS5 own... Pro. No, when they were showing when they're talking about like PSSR and the in the presentation, yeah. In the presentation, but I think, I, think but I mean saying like a a video like in the oh, comparing right. the graphics yeah. that they would release after. Right. Like, show some form of gameplay, like zoom in, like look at the difference from this and that, like that way. Like, People like to analyze their own thing, like, you know, for nerd sure. off for a little bit in 4K and everything. But so, Death Stranding 2 is supposed to be potentially. You think Death Stranding is the one that's going to. And yes, five. It all. When, Spider Man 2, when Spider Man 2 gets its PS5 Pro enhancements, DLC is on the way. Mark my words, it's gonna happen. It's yeah. gonna the happen. Copium's bad. The Copium, um, it's a. <laughs> He's I'm like, on wait it. a second. I'm <laughs> on it. That's it. I'm putting my tinfoil hat I will, on. I will give I'm it borrowing to you, Camille's tinfoil hat. Uh -huh. I'll give it to you because they mentioned Marvel Spider-Man 2 in the press release. Why not? Why, why just don't show it off? So like, Spider-Man 2. I expect later on from Spider-Man. Like, if oh, Ragnarok gets DLC, if Horizon 2 gets a full expansion, okay? Like, there's no way PlayStation would even allow Insomniac to not do any post-launch content for Spider-Man 2 yeah. and drive Put more away, Wolverine. We got Spider-Man. That's deals it. That's here. it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, so we'll see. I, I, I'm, I'm on the yeah. copium for sure. Hey, but I, I want, think, I wanted to come out for you, man. You know, yes. that. <laughs> I, I honestly think too, that it's not going to be an expansion on the level of what horizon two did. I, I think it's going to be a lot closer to God of War Ragnarok's DLC in terms of length and, and scope, you know, something that's a lot, smaller something that is new for the game that could drive more sales that could drive people to want to jump back on and we don't want like a miles morales type of size maybe i or? do think that maybe we're going to get something like that in terms of like a venom game right you know they've, they've, been, they've mm. been hinting since before release they said like i think john paquette the lead writer at insomniac was like we're going to listen to the fans when it comes to venom and whether or not you should make a game for him so i do think we're going to get a miles morales sized venom game but i also think that we're going to get like this really small bite-sized dlc for spider-man 2 that can get people hyped some new suits and something like that okay all right yeah. it would have been, nice to, it been nice to see it today it's honestly happening. i would have been so happy to see that I today, very happy like, today too, all yeah. this was the pro version of it pick it up now this is the only way you can play it you know i don't know but no i'm just joking but uh go. with that being said camille what's going on for you for the rest of the week uh figuring out my prompter i do have nascar <laughs> Uh, happening so you could probably catch the VOD wherever that mm -hmm. lives um, and then figuring out my teleprompter that's it alright best of luck with that and uh, Caboose how about you my man playing some more Space Marine playing some okay. more Marvel Snap you know what mm -hmm. I mean <laughs> <laughs> um, that's it you know just been uh, chilling waiting for a Spider-Man 2 DLC announcement of some kind and mm -hmm. also just looking forward to the rest of the year we got the Game Awards coming up and I can't wait I'm yeah. going to be attending that um, TwitchCon as well. We're gonna be TwitchCon. I'm I'm hoping I can go to TwitchCon. Hoping, yes. Please, <laughs> Air Canada, please. Figure um, it out. For <laughs> the love of God. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Uh, if you want to check me out on YouTube, you can youtube.com mm -hmm. slash caboose. I'm on Twitter and Instagram as well at caboose ek. Hell yeah. And then uh for me, I'm gonna be playing the casting of Frank uh Stone. Is like a PBD yeah. super super massive, I think they're like like the quarry. PBD style. is a story, story type yeah, game, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna be playing that today, and hopefully TwitchCon, you know, will go well because I got a panel to do there. So, oh, that's that really one out. what's your panel yeah. about? Nice. You just think the Twitch, there's a Twitch community, like how just Twitch. One up there. It's just how to run Twitch, you know, no big deal, you know. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, I I keep forgetting like you look at the screen. I'm like, why should you keep looking at the screen? But I realize you're looking at your prompter. So I think it threw me. Well, off I have you in the prompter. Second, so. it threw me off like a split second. I'm like, why should you keep staring at the screen? Anyway, we'll see you all here uh, next week. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye.